Genetic testing is having its moment right now. You can hardly get through an hour of TV or web surfing without seeing an ad for 23andMe or Ancestry.com. And if you want to get the skinny on if those are worth it to do a test, check out my pal Rena's story on it from a couple weeks ago. Any hoosies, to use a Rena term. Tonight we are going to take a look at a local company who is partnering with Mayo Clinic to do another kind of DNA testing. It's called pharmacogenomic testing, and here's what that is. Pharmacogenetics is the study of how people respond differently to medicines due to their genetics. Now you know. So what's the deal with the testing? We do pharmacogenomic testing. So we understand that everybody has individual different genes. Everybody's different. We can tell by the individual genes which way your medications will typically be metabolized. So this testing that Paul's company and about a half dozen others do takes your DNA and then gives you a list of medications your body is great with, average with, and bad with. It's not a new concept, but it's one that's moving forward fast. It has been a science that's been around for a long time, but it's continuing to increase in popularity because precision medicine and how we treat individuals instead of treating everybody the same way every time is becoming much more common in the practice of medicine today. It's popular for all kinds of people who are tired of worrying about the laundry list of side effects that might occur, or for those who have spent too long getting the prescription wrong. So pretty much from the time Carly was born, she had struggles. Sandy's daughter Carly struggled to get meds for mental health issues correct for almost a decade. Some of the meds made her so sleepy that I would wake her up in the morning and come back five minutes later and she was literally asleep in her laundry basket. Some of them caused behavioral changes to the point where she's kicking, screaming, biting, yelling, crying, irritable, agitated. I mean, it was horrible. Carly barely made it through school in the fifth grade. It was so bad. In high school, it reached a tipping point. And then Carly took the right med test offered by One Ohm. It worked. She, since then, which was the fall of 2016, she has been living the best version of herself. Academically, she's never had more success. Emotionally, she's regulated, she's calm, she's relaxed, she's happy, she smiles and laughs. Carly's story is obviously what we all would want. But you gotta know, not all of these pharmacogenetic tests are created equal. One Ohms is a doctor-ordered test, and it partners with the Mayo Clinic, like I said. The expert Rena used in her DNA story told us that One Ohm is a reliable lab. But again, we can't say, no one can that this test will be the answer to all that ails you. That's not the point. The point is to empower a person, you, the consumer, with information. So who can get the right med test? Anyone, but it's not free. You can do it on their website. The cost to do it, it you can order it on the website. The, to the cost to get the test, $349. You pay that, they send you a kit, you take a cheek swab, you send it back, and within about a week or so, you get your results. And you get a consultation with a genetic counselor to explain them. In some cases, your insurance will cover this test as well. That's fantastic. I mean, seriously, if you have an issue and you can't find the right cocktail or the right brand of meds that you want. I mean, if your DNA can spell that out for you, that'd be priceless for some people. Right, for some people, or for anyone really, we all wanna know more about ourselves so sure. we can empower ourselves to make decisions. But again, I can't speak for every single yeah. one of these tests out there. Yeah. I can only talk about the one that we visited today. And it's, it's interesting information. I can't say every doctor is on board with it either, but it is a changing way in medicine. So it gives you, you know, some power. I know it's very common in, in issues of mental health when you have to take one, two, three, four different kinds of and things how they're gonna and how they're going to interact them. with each other and your body chemistry. Right. It's been very helpful to some of those people. All right. Well, good story. All right.